Hey, what's crack a and It's Wasi on the check-in. Straight out the West Coast. The coast with the most. All right, so what we got going on right now is another one of those uh, world-famous quick videos. All right, so I was doing some work on this power saw. It's a, a K10, and um, I'm just, uh, I think I mentioned this one time in a video like a while back about the uh, the lethal voltage and current that remains in these amplifiers even when they're unplugged, right? So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you can see, I got a plug in my hand. The amplifier is unplugged. Let me zoom out a little bit, no power going to the amp. You see what I'm saying? It's just sitting here, unplugged. Uh, like I said, I was doing some work in it, so I wanted to make this video right quick and just show you what I'm talking about. Got a meter here, we got it set up to DC voltage. I'm going to drop a ground probe right here, which is the ground. And once again, this thing has been unplugged. It ain't plugged up at all, right? And just to show you what I'm talking about when I talk about lethal uh, reserves of energy in these amplifiers, and you got to be real careful. I'm going to go ahead and put my probe. All right, so this meter is a fluke. Everything on it is rubber. So I'm going to be able to just lay it in here just so you can see what I'm doing uh, while I'm doing it. I'm going to probe... Let me see if I could do it so you could see it a lot better. I'm going to probe one of the test points to see how much voltage is in the amp, right? This thing has been sitting unplugged for a minute, and it still has negative 163 volts and positive 163 volts. All right, so... You mess around and try to do some work in the amplifier right now while it's charged up. It'll set your life on fire. You know what I'm saying? For you guys that might be bored and figure your life ain't exciting enough, stick your finger in this amp while it's charged up. I guarantee you'll get some excitement you don't want. All right, so we now know that the amplifier got like 163 uh, volts plus and minus, right? So what do you do? You got to work on the amp. Well, the first thing you do is discharge it so i'm going to show you the correct way to discharge it this is a um a power resistor uh this particular power resistor is a eight ohm i'm trying to make sure you can see it eight ohm 300 watts right now you know the k10 is supposed to put out thousands of watts or whatever but that's for audio audio is up and down it's spurious it's not constant so this resistor can handle 300 watts constant which is much more than, you know, it's not, in other words, even though it only says it handles 300 watts, me discharging the amplifier through, um, you know, discharging the amp through this resistor is not going to damage the resistor, all right, because it's only like for a quick second. So what I did is I took a little alligator lead here. One side of it is connected to ground, you know, chassis ground. And then the other side of it is connected to the other end of the resistor. All right. So I'm going to discharge the negative side or the negative voltage rail of the amplifier. Uh, once again, we do this. So when we start working on it, uh, it's safe to move around inside the amp. All right. So I'm going to take this terminal right here and touch that negative uh, voltage rail lead. And it's going to totally discharge it. All right. You may even see like a little spark. Let's see. All right, you saw that? A nice little gyasha fire. All right, so we're going to do that now. The same thing we just did to the negative lead, we're going to do it to the positive lead. All right, y'all watching? Let's see. Yeah. All right, there it goes. Okay, so I just discharged the negative and the positive, and uh, always exercising safety first. Even though we did that, we're still going to measure again. So remember, we were at 163 volts negative. We'll go back on that negative terminal. Now it's at negative 4 volts. All right. We were at positive 163 volts. We'll go back on that positive terminal. And now we're at positive 3 volts. Or 3.7, whatever. Close enough. All right. So you can see now. We dropped down from 100 and change to like, you know, 4 volts. Uh, it still has a little bit of um, 
a little bit of voltage in there. So, I mean, that's not going to cause any problems. It's not going to do anything to you. It's not going to hurt you. And more importantly, it's not going to short anything out in case you're disassembling wires and moving boards around and something touches. It's not going to kill it. All right. So I um, just wanted to drop in real quick, man, and do this video, uh, you know, because I know a lot of you cats are pretty technical. So if you do go inside of a PowerSoft or any app for that matter, this is a K series, right? That's how you dis dis um discharge a K series. You know, the X series and different type of amplifiers, they discharge differently. They have different points or whatever, so you just gotta understand the amplifier you're working on. You know, you got you gotta kinda know how it works and understand where to go to get the uh the job done. All right. So safety first as always, man. If you're working on these apps and you turn it on and then you turn it off and then you unplug it. You figure say, boy, I'm see if no power no, no connect to the amplifier. And you go sticking your fingers in there, man. You're gonna have a very exciting afternoon. All right. So uh just keep that in mind. All y'all be blessed. It's a Saturday. Enjoy the weekend. Once again, spend some time with the family and all that good stuff. All right, Wasi over now. Bless.